Here we have in this part A these five rules. The first says that Jack is a sparrow, Tweety is a penguin, and then we have these rules with variables. The first says that for every x, if x is a sparrow, then x is a bird, and for every x that is a penguin, x is also a bird. And we also have this one saying that for every bird that is not a penguin, it flies. Then we have to, to find the ground instantiation of this program P and then compute this stable model. Then for finding the ground instantiation, it's useful to have here the Hebrand universe, that is the, the um, all the ground terms that can be built with the constant and function symbols of the program. In this case, we just have this Jack and Tweety, and then we can build here this ground instantiation of P, which contains, of course, the facts. This is Sparrow of Jack and this Penguin, penguin of Tweety, and then the ground instances of these three rules. So this, so then here all we have to do for the first rule is replace the x in term by each of these elements. So then we have bed of jack if sparrow of jack, then bed of tweety if sparrow of tweety, and something similar for the second bird of jack, penguin of jack, and bird of tweety, if penguin of tweety. And again, something similar for the next one. This is nice because there's only one variable, this x, so we have few instances. And then this for Tweety. Not Penguin of Tweety. Good. This is the ground instantiation. This was easy. So now let's look for the stable model of this program P which by definition is the stable model of the ground instantiation of P that we have just computed. Then let's start. So we are going to use what we know about the stable models, mainly these two properties, that the stable model is a model and that the stable model, every atom in a stable model has a proof in the readout of the program with respect to the stable model. Then we know that since it's going to be a, a stable model is going to be a model, these two facts will belong to any stable model of the program. So then let's write here. Um, let's do this in, in green. So let's move it a bit down. So we have Sparrow, J, and Penguin, T. Oh, I can just write them all, the big ones, because then we are not going to have that many. Sparrow and penguin. Good. Then, with this, given that we have a sparrow of J, we must also have bird of J. This jack. And given that we have penguin, penguin of T, we will also have bird of T. And these two rules, the one, well, let me write this first. So we have here bird of T by this rule, right? And then, so the, the stable model that we are building will satisfy all these rules because all the head belong to it. And then for, we can reason about these two rules. So this, the condition is sparrow of t, and there is no way that the sparrow of t is going to belong 
to a stable model because there is no rule whose head is a sparrow of t. And similarly, penguin of, of j. So we know that a sparrow of t and penguin of j will not belong to, to any stable model. And we do it by reasoning uh, using this property that for every atom in a stable model, there must be a proof. So there's no way to prove a sparrow of t or penguin of j. So then we can write also here that we know that a sparrow of j will not be in the stable model. And this is this is how I am writing it. Okay, using the, the negation here to say that a sparrow of j will not be in the stable model. And also a sparrow... Oops, sorry, no, I wanted to write the... Um, uh, that... Sorry, now I got a bit lost. I wanted to say a sparrow of t does not belong, sorry. So let's do it here. And similar reason applies to penguin of j. Right? There's no way to prove them, so then they will not be in any stable model. And then, mm, okay, and then these two, and then also the rules are satisfied because bird of t and bird of j belong also to the set. So we are fine with respect to this rule. Now we have to care about these ones. So let's have a look at them. This says that if we have bird of j, and indeed we have it, and we do not have penguin of j, and indeed we do not have it, then we can derive flights of j. So before we have reason that for being a stable model, any stable model must contain this Atoms and must not contain this sparrow of t and penguin of j. So now then we know that since a stable model is a model, given that these conditions will hold, flies of j must belong to a set. And I think similar reason we can apply to this rule. Or not. Let's see, because here we have bird of t. And if we do not have penguin of t, oops, but we have it. Right. So then this rule cannot be applied. So we cannot derive that Tweety flies, right? Because we derived that it was a penguin. So actually here what we have is that we derive flies of J from the from this rule. And we cannot derive flies of T because we have penguin, right? And actually reasoning a bit about it, what we can say is that for flies of t to be in a stable model, there must be some proof of it. But the, for it, we must have bird of t, and that's fine. But we should have, we should not have penguin of t. But indeed, we have it. So there's no way that we are going to be have flies of t in the stable model because we would need to prove it. And for proving it, we shouldn't have penguin of t because this is the only rule that can give us flies of t. If there were other rules about flies of t, we would have to check whether the other rules uh, can also not be used for proving flies of t. So then we can say that we also do not have flies of t. And then we have assigned a value to all the atoms in the stable model. And we can collect this 4 and this 5. And this is the stable model of the program. Let's write it here. Sparrow j, penguin, t, bird, j, bird, t, and flies, j. Okay, that's it. So this solves the exercise. And now let's do something a bit more just, um, let me copy this, let me move this here to the top so that we can see it. And um, now let's try to find the stable model just looking at the logic program with uh, variables. And let's see how we can also compute it just looking at, at the program. So reasoning with the program without uh, variables is what I wanted to make. So let's go with it. There's this fact Sparrow Jack and Penguin Tweety. So we know this will belong to any stable model. So we have Sparrow Jack and Penguin Tweety. Then if we have a Sparrow of some X, 
Then we must also have bad of x. So with the sparrow of x, we must have bad of x for being a model. It must, oh, sorry, bad of x, this I wanted to, I meant, I wanted to say it. It's not what I meant. I wanted to say bad of j. And similarly, we can reason here that if we have penguin of t, then we should have bad of, twi of t. Right, and this is these four atoms are everything that we can derive from this from the program because for deriving more atoms from this program from these two rules we would need more atoms about the sparrow but there's only this rule that can give us atoms about the sparrow and similarly for penguin so then we only have to see what comes from this rule and from this rule for every bird that we have and we have j and t if we do not have a penguin if this x is not a penguin then we can derive flies so then for bird equal for bird, sorry for jack the bird given that it's not a penguin we can derive that it flies while for tweety the bird given that it's indeed a penguin, we cannot derive anything. So then we can stop because there's nothing else to obtain and we can return that this is the stable model of the program and indeed this coincides with what we did with the other method. Okay, so then this was it for part A. Let's move on.